All right, good day everybody. It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber back at it again, guys, with another Geek Haul. And I believe this is Geek Haul episode 15, I believe. As you can see right here, nothing in front of you guys because everything is off to the side because I don't have a lot of room. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I've purchased over the week, um, the past week. It involves uh, a movie, some action figures, and some comic books, guys. Okay, so the first one I bought right here, Marvel Select, simply because I need to complete my Marvel Select team. So I needed a Storm, so Storm is one of the few Marvel Select figures that I do not have and I do not own. Even though I've seen better Storms, um, I mean, she doesn't look half bad. And I, plus, I needed her for my Marvel Select team, so um, hopefully she won't disappoint. You know, the, the Marvel Select Cyclops was a little bit better than I expected, so, you know, Storm actually looks pretty good. So she might be pretty awesome. So stay tuned for a review of that right there. Uh, next up, we'll stick with the Marvel theme, and then we have another Marvel Select, and it is of Magneto. I thought this Magneto was really awesome. He's for a really, really good price for a good price uh, on Amazon right now. And that's one of the reasons why I bought him because he's not going to be on Amazon at a good price forever because they like to, you know, have the Marvel Selects at a cheap low price and then they're gone and then they're up like, you know, $20, $30 more. So, mm -mm -mm -mm. so yeah, here's the Marvel Select uh, Magneto. So stay tuned for that review coming up and then I did something a little bit different guys and I bought a Pacific Rim figure and this is the Saber Athena I thought uh, he or she whatever you want to call it I guess she looked really really good and uh, yes yeah, my first uh, Pacific Rim figure I can't really I can't wait to review this figure for you guys um, now here are some of the other figures, the Gypsy Avenger and the Bracer Phoenix. They all look awesome. If I like this figure, then I'm probably going to buy some more and go down another deep, deep black hole. So there's that. And one movie that I purchased that I bought over the weekend that I really, really liked. Well, actually, I bought it a couple weekends ago. Uh, watched it again for the second time yesterday. Uh, really, really good, really, really good movie. If you guys like Star Wars, if you love Star Wars uh, movies, um, they did a pretty good job. Um, could they have gotten a better Han Solo? I mean, listen, he wasn't that bad, but he's no Harrison Ford. Um, Elden, uh, I can't even pronounce his name, but uh, he was he was decent. He wasn't half bad, you know. <coughs> I think. Um, I think, you know what, all the characters were pretty solid. Chewie, I think, was one of the best. Uh, Donald Glover, of course, playing Lando Calrissian. He was really, really good as uh, Lando. <coughs> you guys have to excuse me because I'm still a little bit sick. And uh, I'm still fighting off a cold here, so. Um, they picked up some comic books. Uh, I was at the comic book store, so they gave me this Venom comic book right here, guys. Because I bought a Venom action figure. They gave me this free custom edition exclusive. Um, official movie collectible. Which I thought was pretty awesome. And there's the back cover of Venom. <coughs> Be that we got time. Yeah, I've been fighting through a cold. Um, chest cold, sore throat stuffy nose it's that time of the year so you guys may have heard some of my wonderful coughing in my previous video when i was doing the marvel select and marvel uh marvel uh marvel legends <laughs> review so there's that venom and of course you guys know how much i love older comic books i may have this comic book already i'm not really for sure of course this is x-force um, I love my 90s X-Men, X-Force, X-Factor. I've been collecting a lot of X-Force comic books because I really love the X-Force. So there's that. Here is another one with Shatterstar and Sauron. 
really really awesome so there's that another X Force right here this is with Adam X the extreme is back There's that, and then we have another one, Black Tom. If you're looking at the price right there, yes, I paid a dollar for them. They're not really worth that much, but I just, I love them. I mean, comic book, if you, could, if you go into a comic book store and you find X-Force and X-Men, especially from the 90s, I mean, they're practically giving them away. Which I think that's a shame because these are really, really awesome comic books. Child's Play, X-Force, 104. I think I might have some other... Yeah, here we go. Here's another one right here. Is this Child's Play? Yeah, here's X... This is Child's Play, 104. And then here's 304. Pretty, pretty awesome. And then here's another X-Force with Cable on the front cover. I mean, how can you not love the artwork? The artwork, I think, still holds up to this day. 20, 25 years later. And this is a classic cover right here. I may have this one or, or, or not. I'm not really for sure. So, Pretty awesome. Like I said in the previous... Uh, uh, review guys I'm probably towards the end of the year I'm going to do a, a review a re-review of all the comic books that I bought this year all the X-Men X-Force comic books that I bought this year and I'll show you my entire collection that I bought this year um, that was written and drawn 20 or 20 years ago because like I said most of these are from the 90s 95, 96 Here's another X-Force Executioner Song, Part 8. I'm sure I have other parts somewhere. There's Strife taking on Apocalypse. Isn't that an awesome cover? Strife, look at what Strife is doing to Apocalypse. That's awesome. And then here's Shatterstar, War Machines. Pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, and you can tell this is from 93 because look, it says Avengers the Symbol. 30th, 30 years, 1963 to 1993. So, here is 20. And with a lot of these 90s uh, X Force comic book guys, is that when you buy some of these X-Force comic books from the 90s, a lot of them are some of the first editions, like this is number 20. And here's number 16, Executioner Song, part four. Wolverine taking on Shatterstar. And that's pretty awesome. Awesome, awesome cover. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have another X-Force. Pretty, pretty awesome. So, there you guys have it. There was my little geek haul, guys. Episode 15. Um, collection of comic books, mostly from the 90s. Action figure, Pacific Rim action figure to review for you guys. A Magneto. Marvel Select to review for you guys and a Marvel Select Storm to review for you guys. So there was my little geek haul for uh, for this week, I guess. <laughs> I just I think I just recently did a geek haul, so. But there you guys have it. Uh, I am getting a little bit better. My voice is getting a little bit better. I'm still congested. And uh, there you guys have it. So stay tuned for some awesome reviews coming up and I just want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time bye